I've been on a camera, no. Hey, you just talk. I'm not here. Continue on. No, yeah, I, but you do, you feel abandoned by, by... It's not that, not only that, I just feel like I abandoned my team. I feel like I abandoned my brothers. I feel just because I got out, I feel that, you know, I left everything behind. I never had a shot for clothes. I, I found myself in the store looking for shirts and pants the other day. I was like, well, what do I buy? What size? That was 23 years. My grandfather served 20. You know, big, 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 long history of family that wore boots, fought in battles, went to wars. Just never saw Vietnam though. None of us. It was just like this big sandbox only a jungle. And it's. It's one but thing. it was the same deal. We didn't know who the enemy was. They all looked the same. You know what the worst part is? Out of a team of seven, I lost three members here in the States. And they were all here in Tampa. Um, the hardest parts that I've had to live with is the fact one, it's just their passing. You know, they've died for absolutely nothing here. Absolutely nothing here. And you know what hurts the most is nobody knows. Nobody knows what they did. Nobody knows their history. Nobody knows their family. The sacrifice that they made. And then they pass away. We bury them. We have a big ceremony. Everybody goes their way. Nobody speaks their name anymore. You know, when I speak of when I when I speak to Jeff, when I speak to you know Shannon, I talk to the guys at Redcon One. When, when they speak, they speak for everybody. And that's yes. what that's what touches. That's what hits me in the heart. Uh, I have everything. I've been with them since they started. I've, I've backed them up, I've supported them, I've pushed them. And you know what? I'll, I'll give my life just, just to have that one moment of accomplishment. It takes a team solo. That's what we're all working together to do. It's difficult. But like she said, we all have to speak out. Yeah. Hopefully. That, that's a big thing. You have to speak out. 200 plus people out here. I mean, why not? Well, they're hearing the message today, too. These are people who will speak out to other people. That's what we want to do, spread the message. That's what it's all about. Because we can't do it alone. No. You know, it takes a team. I'm proud. I'm happy that I'm out here. Right on. Yeah, you're with your brothers and sisters. I'm happy. It's moving, very moving. The police department are veterans. I mean, almost everybody here is veterans. So they know how you feel, they know what you're going through. And they're glad you're here. It's sad, you know what I mean? But I've taken their lives just because they didn't know how to touch it and open up. We're not taught. You know, no. We don't, we're not taught. We, we're taught to go, engage, you know, fight, sit in the chair, back up everybody on the ground, we get sick, we go back. But we're not we're not taught to, oh this is this is how you gotta deal with it, you know, this is how you gotta you gotta break it down, you gotta speak to somebody. No, they just fill you up with, with drugs. It's usually, like I said, narcotics. They treat the symptom, but they don't treat yep. the cause. Yep. Yeah. So it if takes... you think about it, Solo, I mean, he's a Vietnam vet. They came back and were spit on. You know, a lot of our volunteers are Vietnam vets, and they don't even want, they didn't even tell anybody they were Vietnam vets until years later, or when they started volunteering with us, and then they felt good. Yeah, we never even told people we were vets. We, you know, they, I still... they looked at us waiting for the time bomb to go off. Well, yeah. I went to a bank. I went to um, Bank of America on Del Mabry in Tampa, and I had, I was in uniform. I was, I was out there doing work. And I had this lady, she's like, baby, don't, with, to a child, don't look at that baby killer. Uh, I was like, excuse me? Hold on, first of all, first of all, I'm not a baby killer, I'm a soldier. That's right. Oh, that, it, it, it made me mad. She's like, well, you don't know anything that. about history. I was like, ma'am, I wrote the book. Thank and you. my brothers wrote the book, and we bled for it. And you're here, able to say that because of people like me. That's right. If not, you'd be saying it in German, Vietnamese. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Or, or we'd book. be fighting here. <laughs>